All right, we are back for year three, I believe it is now. And quickly before we get into the video, I want to give a big shout out to Speedy Gaming. Um, he's been helping me throughout the series and dropping a comment on almost every video that I've posted. Um, he just left a comment uh, last video saying, "Hey, Leifer, just for some info, don't ever pick people with faces unless you know they were good." So, um, yeah, like I said, big shout out to him. He's been helping me out with franchise mode, and helping me learn it. So again, Speedy, thank you very much. But Without further ado, we're going to start uh, the year 3 sim. We're pretty much just going to sim to the start of the season, set up all the lines, because um, as of now, we signed who we wanted to sign and all that good stuff. Um, what I did want to say is, I think for the start of the season, depending on how things go, we're, we are going to be keeping um, Mr. Uh, Gino Malkin. Again, just for the time being, depending on how the Penguins do to start the season, that's when we will decide if we should get rid of him. I think at trade deadline, it would be smart to get rid of him, start prepping for the future, especially if the team is doing super good and we could afford to lose him, if that makes sense. So I think that's cool. We're getting a lot of trades here. I just want to simulate here. And all these trades have not been good. Hold on. As I say that, um, Joel Edmondson, let me edit this trade. What is this about? So we'd be getting rid of a third, a fourth, and Pustinin, who is a 62 overall. Uh, Two-way forward. He's 5'9". Um, all right, interesting. We'd get Edmison at 3.5 for two years. He's an 83. Do we need him on the back end is what I want to look at here. I, I'm not sure if we do. Because um, looking at things, we got... Yeah, so Tang, uh, the newly signed Ekholm. Uh, Day, Joseph, Marino, Patterson. Like, it would be good to get him and kind of get rid of maybe Patterson, but we don't really need him. Pustin in. Um, let me do my research on him. I think he's one of our best prospects, if I'm not mistaken. Pustin in, he's unknown. Uh, you know, I might do it. We have him for two years at 3.5. It's going to screw us a little bit at the cap, but if we get rid of Gino, um, it makes sense. And again, the draft picks for 2023, again, we're trying to win now, right? So um, it doesn't really matter. We're trying to win one more cup. I'm going to accept this trade. So Joel Edmondson, we're starting off the video with a trade. Um, and our, we bolster up our uh, our defense there. So good stuff coming out of uh, out of uh, the offseason from the Pittsburgh Penguins. We made some big moves. And uh, now it's time to see what the lineups are going to look like as we are heading into September. And here are the preseasons. Let's edit the lines here. I'm interested to see what this is going to look like. So, um, let's see what we can do here. Okay, you know what? This Pittsburgh Penguins team is looking pretty good. Um, so, we were able to get a plus one in every line. Um, the only thing I don't like is Cappy's on the fourth line for the time being. But um, we will see how that goes. I can't really fit him anywhere else. So, the first line is looking like the newly signed Chris Tierney will be playing first line minutes with Sidney Crosby and Jake Gensel. The second line will be looking like Zucker, Malkin, and Ricard Raquel. Third line, Jared McCann, Mikael Granlin, and Jankowski. And then the fourth line, Tandem, Lafferty, and Kapanen. I actually did not check who we have scratched. And we do have Eric Stahl scratched. So, that, let's, let's throw him in there um substitute and let me fix up the lines now okay so we slotted in eric Stahl here on the fourth line i don't think this fourth line needs a plus one it's a pretty good fourth line if i have to say so myself so the only thing that really changed is our third and fourth line so the third lines look like brandon tanev miko granlin jared mccann and then the fourth line is kapanen jankowski and eric Stahl. if i do say so myself very good um, very, very good, um, fourth line. We're going to put stall center. I have a feeling he has better face off ratings. We're going to check that 79 compared to 80. So Jankowski actually has a better rating. So we'll leave it the way it was here. Um, we are going to get rid of Pedersen maybe. Um, cause we do have Joel Edmondson just sit in there. So let's throw him in there. We got a plus one there. And I think we're going to leave the defense the way it is. So we got a new first, uh, top pairing of Matias Ekholm and Christopher Letang. Like, that is a sick pairing. I'm pretty happy to see how that works out. We now have a second pairing of Joel Edmondson and John Marino. Pretty good. And then a third pairing of Hamannick and Joseph. So that is pretty good. And then looking at our goaltending situation, Tristan Jari and Anton Forsberg. I'm interested to see how Forsberg does. We're going to run with him as a starter to start the season. Um, it's going to be interesting to see how he does, like I did say. And then special teams. Uh, let me edit this up quickly. All right, so these are the power play lines. We're going to keep them the way they are. I, I don't think I can do any better. So I think the team's ready to go. I'm going to make sure. Um, let me make sure that the captains are set the way they should be. Uh, cool. And then I did want to check. 
Um, if we did turn injuries back off, I don't think we did. All right, injuries off. Good on me for remembering that. So we're just going to start the, the year here and uh, see how this Pittsburgh Penguins team does. We'll probably simulate two or three months just to see how they do. Now, preseason uh, doesn't really mean much, but let's see how they do in the preseason. With the new players on the team, 4-1 win, 5-3-L. We don't like to see that. Um, okay, preseason, um, not looking good. Uh, we are... Um, two, three, and one, but we are ready to start the season here. Uh, and we're starting off hard. Um, so that's what she said, but we're starting off, um, with a back to back. So not ideal, but let's simulate this first month. Let me make sure Anton Forsberg is the starter for the first game. I want to see how he does there. And he is, oh, 77. All right. Tristan Jari is a starter. So maybe if we do decide to trade Gino, it's going to be for a piece that uh, will be a starting goaltender. So let's see. All right. First month, let's see how Tristan Jari does. And we start off with a two-game, three-game losing streak. And um, I feel like this is the best team we've had as a Pittsburgh Penguins team. And we are 2-5-2. and two. Um, It's not looking good. So after one month, we are 3-7-2. and two. Um, Something is clearly not working. I don't know what it is. Uh, we're going to have to fix something, ideally. First thing I do want to check is this. 902 save percentage is okay it's not the greatest so um we are definitely looking for a better goaltender uh, just straight away and maybe gino's time is coming up sooner than we thought captain is up to an 85 so i'm gonna put him up on that second line uh we're gonna put ricard up onto the third line have jared mccann on the fourth line and i think for the time being that's the way to go now looking at if we trade Gino, ideally we want to get back a goaltender and probably a third or fourth liner. Um, so maybe that's something we got to look into. I'll give it one more month before I think we need to make a move, if that makes sense. Uh, but I do want to edit the trading block and we're going to throw Gino Malkin up there if he isn't already up there. He should have been. Um, but yeah, let's see. We'll give it one more year. And if we have to, Gino, it's going to be time for... Your career in Pittsburgh to possibly come to an end. I wanted to wait till trade deadline, but if the team's looking the way it's looking right now, we need to make a, tr a trade ASAP. So let's have a better month here. We're off to a two-game, three-game winning streak, which is nice. Uh, we take an L there against the Islanders. Let's keep it rolling here, boys. Don't make me make them force me to make a move that I don't want to make. Um, but let's see here. So after two months. Uh, we are 15 10 and 2 so we definitely brought it back that month we are currently sitting in third in the metro tied for second actually um but the islanders have two games in hand and the devils have two as well so a way better month i'm gonna give it one more month to decide what we're gonna do with gino um now i wanted to check how jari was doing here uh, 911 save percentage, so it's looking better. Um, Anton Forsberg went up to a 79, but he's only played two games. Um, Gensel went up in overall. I think uh, Crosby did too since the start of the month. Tierney went from an 86 to an 82. Um, let's put Raquel first line. We'll put Tierney third line. Yeah, that makes sense. And then on defense, Ekholm Latang went down two overalls. Edmondson went down two overalls. So. Uh, not looking good for the team, but like I said, we had a better month. I'm going to give it one more month. If we continue to keep rolling, we're going to keep the team the way it is, and then I'm going to uh, give you guys in the comments um, a chance to help me out with what we should do with Gino going forward next video. So we'll give it one more month to see how the team does. If the team does not do good, I will make the decision myself and trade Gino away. If we do good, I want your guys' opinion in the comments. So let's keep it going here. Not a trade we're interested in. Uh, so far, so good. We start off with a two-game winning streak. We two L's there but we win um all right so it looks like not a pretty good month uh the Canadians have fired their head coach nice so I mean listen three months down we're year 21 13 and 4 especially having that that first horrible month we're doing good we are currently sitting in third in the metro still we are four points behind the Hurricanes and um or yeah four points behind the Hur Hurricanes and five behind the no more than five behind the Islanders. Um, we have a game in hand. Crosby with 45 points in 38 games, which is nice to see. So, with that being said, we had a good month. I'm going to give you guys in the comments um, the chance to give me um, your opinion on what I should do with Gino Malkin. He started the season off, by the way, at a 91 overall. He is now at an 89. It is an ideal. 
Um, in 38 games played, he's had 19 goals, 22 assists, so he's still producing, but let me know. Um, I think I know what I'm going to do with him if I do decide to trade him. We're going to look for a third-line center so Granlin can come up to the second line. We're going to look for a third or fourth line center, and then we are going to look for a starting goaltender. So let me know in the comments down below what I should do with Gino Malkin. But for the time being, the team's doing pretty good. Um, maybe we roll with Gino for one last time, and we let him walk if he doesn't retire this season. You Again, you guys let me know what we should do. I think maybe it's best to keep him because we have a chance to win with him. Looking at the overalls here, nothing's really changed. Can we change stall? We can't change stall. So stall's got to stay on the fourth line there. Um, defense, has anyone gone up? Doesn't look like it. How's Joseph doing? Uh, three goals, six assists, and 38 games. Not bad. Not bad at all. And then um, the big thing I wanted to check, Tristan Jari is at an 898 save percentage. So I think it is safe to say um, the Pittsburgh Penguins need to find a starter. It's just plain and simple. This guy's 27. He has the potential to be a starter. But, like, uh, dude, your career, you're 27. Like, you're not that young anymore. I think it's time for us to make a move for a goaltender. If it's trading away Malkin in that package, so be it. But, again, I'm going to leave that up to you guys, what I should do with Gino. But I think it is a smart move for us to go out and get a goaltender. But, yeah, we're going to end it there. I know this is going to be a shorter type video. But uh, we went through three months. Next video will be probably the trade deadline and the rest of the season so again i'm leaving it up to you guys what i should do with malkin let me know in the comments down below but guys that is it for today's video thank you guys very much for watching and i'll talk to you guys later peace